Good morning, guys. Just rolling into work here in Georgetown at our mowing business. I got a day off from CJ Boat, so we're pulling in here. It looks like Ian just came in and, he's, and he parked really, really bad. So let's try and actually like slide in here. There we go. All right, looks like people are already at work. There's Bolt. I'm going to quickly open the garage door. Don't know why they didn't do that. Morning, Bolt. Good morning. Looking good back there, man. Are you going to be our full-time receptionist here soon? No, my... No, I'm, I'm just messing with you. weren't here you. yet, so I just showed up. Wait. Cool. Thanks for unlocking things. Good morning, Ian. How's it going? Nice parking job there. It looked pretty bad when I pulled in, but did you fix it? No, you didn't. It's, it, nope, nope. It's okay. temporary. Get out there go, and fix it. No, I don't gotta care. Gotta go pick up. Okay, okay, boss. Okay. Get out there. See that discipline there, Bolt? You gotta te teach him right. Yeah, I sent Garrett at the end of tour of shop. I don't think he's seen it before. Morning, Garrett. Good morning. How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Ian, you fixed your parking job? Yeah, go check it out. Uh, not as good as I would hope, but that's pretty good. How, what do you think of the shop here, Garrett? I think it's really cool. When did you guys get this all built? Like, I haven't seen any of this. We had a builder. His name was Matt, and with, with Midwestern Builders, and he threw it up in a month and a half. So early, late spring, early summer, he put it up. So wow, he did a fantastic job. I love all the finishings and all the little details. Like, look at these lights and everything. Looks yeah, no, great. it's it's clean. It's kind of got like the can. It, it kind of has like an outdoor vibe, um, which I was kind of going for, like a kind of a log cabin feel at times, but. It works as a landscape company building too. Yeah, you kind of get like that cottage feel almost, which yep. I really like because that's just, I don't know, it always makes you happy. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So we have all new equipment. Everything's running good. But today, guys, we're not mowing. We're doing something a little different. So we have a demo from Hudrig. It's like a European tractor company. And they have like crazy tractors, crazy attachments that you would like never see in America. So that's what we're going to demo today. Cool. That sounds awesome. Here, are you afraid of heights? I am. Okay. I used to be a little bit scared, but recently I've been pretty good. We'll we'll see well, what the day brings. You better, yeah, you but, better hope you still you're still pretty good because we're we're gonna throw off, you up off, about yeah. about six stories up in the air. We can we got uh got a boom on the tractor. Okay, there. wait, how tall? Six stories, six, tall. sixty feet. Uh, okay, okay, I, I might get a little bit scared. We're, we're, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Somebody's going up in it, and I'm not. So maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, they say they rent two trailers for us too. So cool. We just need to bring two trucks down there. So cool. did we get it for free or they just it's get it It's a one-day demo. Yep, free. We're going to try okay. and make as much money as we can. I have three jobs lined up. Uh, mowing, kind of logging. There's like a logger processor on it. And then um, and then something else I forget. But nice. we're going to go. All right, so. cool. What do you guys want to take Who, for trucks? I'll, I'll take, mine. take mine. I'm oh. going to have to go with someone because I, I took a taxi here. Garrett, you <laughs> can jump with me. How about we take the Cummins and the Power Stroke? Yep. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Who forgot to shut the door? Someone forgot to shut the door? God dang it, boys. Whoops. That's all right. It might have, might have been me, honestly. It's good. All right, let's head out, of here, head out of here. It's just in town at one of the local dealerships, so it, it won't be a long drive. It sounds good. I, I feel like you're my Uber driver right now. Well, if Ubers drive power strokes, I guess I can be one. Hey, it pays, it pays you, Garrett, so why not? <laughs> all right, boys, there they are. First one, race to there. First one gets the tractor. Oh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. I called the 2200. Oh, no, yeah. There we go. <laughs> There we go, boys. Oh, you beat you. Uh -huh. So this is the HUD, HUD dig, I think is how you pronounce it. But that's the 2200 lift you can see up on there. And then this is the 1260. So they're pretty similar. I think that one has a little bit more horsepower and maybe a wider wheelbase to hold the, the lift. But it's pretty similar. So a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of attachments and stuff. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of buttons we're gonna have to click. Bunch of hydraulic hoses. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through a tutorial, try and figure it out. And yeah, it's gonna be nice. Um, we got a bush hog. What else do we got? Log splitter or something? Yeah. There is, so there's the bush hog. This is the log processor. And then yeah, it's, it's a backhoe on both of them. So if you guys, like, we could literally dig a big hole or something for fun. But here's a log, uh, what do you call it? A stump grinder? Stump grinder. And, and then a grapple. grapple. So, yep. Those cool. are, these look, like, really modern. Like, they really refine the design, and I, I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's really cool. And then we're going to run both, so... Let's throw one each on the trailer, and then we'll we'll head into actually the one. There's one in town on our way. We're gonna mow this side of the ditch, uh, coming into town on Highway 60. We passed the bush hog. You think? Yep, the bush hog with the backup. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Get her loaded up, boys. Yee -yee. All right, let's see if they can load it up. It looks like it, it, the tractors articulate, so it does take a little bit, especially like say they're on there and they start articulating the tractor and it, the wheelbase is pretty wide on the cable or on the 2200 cable. So it's gonna and this is the 1260. Like I said, it doesn't have the cable. It's not too bad, but you do once you start wiggling. I'm trying to point them. Go to the left. Go to the left. You got room. 
It's wiggly. It's like a little caterpillar. There we go. He looks good there if he just drops it down. And here's the 2200 cable left. Nice and easy. He's got to pick up that processor. There we go. Looks good. All right, there we go, boys. Throw the straps down. Get them real tight. Be good. Yeah, I set the bush hog down on this one. That way, uh, it's not flying all over the place. Yeah, that looks good. This processor, it's kind of tough. It has like this weird kind of crane arm on the back. So kind of hard to hard to keep still. Cool. All right, well, let's head out. Yep, pull up the ramps. Let's get going. Follow me. All right, boys, you feel that weight? We're squatting quite a bit. Oh, yeah, definitely feel it. Make sure to raise the ramp up, too. Oh, yep, got it. There you, you go. You thought this truck would do better than mine. They, they, they're one. literally the same truck, man. Do, or do you have any I, I guess. some suspension? I I, well, lift. I don't I think the lift might hurt it. Towing lift though. Is it a towing lift? Yes, sir. I don't really? know. Doesn't Damn, look it'll, like it'll one. work out. Okay, yeah, it should be good. She's got the 6.7 liter power stroke, boys. We'll be good. So, well, if you can hear us on the comms, we're gonna take a left here. Then just go north on highway 60. It's literally past the baseball field, not far. Yeah. Boy, you can feel the weight on this thing. It's moving all over the place. Yeah, it is. It's kind of pushing us around. So one of the jobs is kind of far away at a farm, but it should be backgrounds. Sounds good. I'm pulling it like there's no, nothing behind Cummins me. Cummins is? Yeah, dang. Maybe we he's should get a Cummins. Yeah, he's got a dually. 3500 and a dually, so that might be why. I'm going to pull off on the side road here. Alrighty. You got no brakes back there, Bolt? No. <laughs> Those Fummins brakes, right? That's right. Yeah, I don't think this thing could squat any more than it currently is. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Looks good. And then, okay, ramps down. Let's go ahead and unstrap. And I think, I think it should come off. The ground's not perfectly flat. All right, I'll uh, I'll take her off. Nice and easy, big cat. Put on the strobes there. There we go. Yes, sir. We're just taking the one off here. Uh, yeah. Yep. We're just gonna take the one off. I don't. There's no no tree work. I don't think. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty bare around here. <laughs> Show me what we're doing, big cat. All right, where, follow where me down we? here. We're gonna we're actually gonna be on Highway 60. Okay. So follow me. You should. We're gonna hit this corner and then we're gonna head all the way down here. Quite a bit of space we gotta cover. Yeah. So he's got to make two or three passes just from here. It's overgrown into the street, kind of. There's some dirt there. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna talk to him real quick. All right, Ian. Yep. Listen up. So the plan is, yep, drive right next to the fence. Use the backhoe bush hog. Get over the fence as close as you can and make uh, like one or two passes for the width of it. And then come back, finish up. You got to get in between the street and the and the rail as well. So how's it mowing? There we go. Uh, I got to lift it up a bit, and then I think we're going. I don't want to cut you up. Watch out. You might need to... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Raise it over this sign real quick. Yep, watch out. Watch out for that one. There you go. Nicely done. And we're going. Looks good. So, like, this is super nice because we don't got to pull out the weed eater. We don't got to go through here. And it uh, and you only do it once or twice a season. A bit closer to the fence. Alrighty. There we go. That's pretty cool. So, just, like, there's so many crazy things you can do with these tractors and stuff. And we, we only have, like, one of each attachment. So, we're just knocking out this quick job. And, like, trying to get used to the tractor. Ian's driving it. But it does take a little bit of getting used to. So as you can see, it gets super close, like way closer than you would be able to get with the big old bush hog on the back of a tractor. And it gets in really tight spots that, like I said, would be really hard to get. And then they're especially good for big sloped in ditches that are really angled. So yeah, Ian, you need any help, man? Yeah, the, this thing, uh, it runs all right, but we're going to have to go. Another company's going to use their weed whacker on the on the edges. Okay, yeah, it, it is tough. And I'm sure this is a demo. We're just trying to show you guys like kind of how it works and stuff. But it's, it yeah. is tough to drive. Did you have fun? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Should I load it back up on the trailer? Yeah, load it back up. All that matters is that you had fun. Yes, yeah, sir. Be careful. Obviously, practice makes perfect, so that's not going to be the best right away. <laughs> it's not bad, though. It cleaned it up, but yeah. we. Yeah, it definitely improved the area. For sure. I, I, you could tell we were here. I, I'd say that much, at least. All right, we got her all loaded up. We're going to head actually back through Georgetown to the south of town, probably a mile out to a farm. The guy wants some um, tree trimmed on. It's kind of like taking cropland and stuff and nutrients. But the only thing is it is holding in erosion, like from the bank. But he said he's going to put down like concrete blocks and stuff down there. But that's what we got to do. We got to do some bush hogging and then we're going to be using the log processor. So it's going to be a lot of fun. These guys are jumping in the truck. We'll get going. All right, boys, we made it. Get off your phones. Look alive. Look alive. Okay. Yes, sir. Or are you guys playing? What are you playing back there? Pokemon Go or something? Flappy Bird. Flappy, Flappy Bird? That's yes. a, you still have Flappy Bird on your phone? Yeah, they deleted it off the App Store, I think. Yeah, I, I, I need to borrow your phone one day. I play that. I gotta get the hours. It's so <laughs> addicting. I just can't stop. All right, boys, this is it. Right here, this creek side, we're gonna take out quite a bit of trees because the farmer always complains he's got a bridge down the way and trees break off big storm big flood and they destroy his bridge okay that's all what right we're doing Sounds good who's trying to run the equipment this time uh, i i'm gonna run the processor if somebody wants to run the bush hog once and then uh, we'll need stump yeah, grinder and probably you. grapple too okay here comes bolt pull her in baby drop the ramp fallman's made it jeez Go did you take the long bolt did you get lost on the way no his truck broke down no oh, it, on strap yeah. come on man 
That's too much out work. The tub here. No, you're doing the whole thing. All right, boys. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I can do better than Ian. Uh, we'll see about that. I, I bet you I can. I bet you I can. You're in the other vehicle, though. I, I was in the other one. This one's harder, man. This is 2200. They ain't no 1650. More or 1260, more whatever it's easier, called. right? More horsepower, the harder. All right, I got to figure out a few things here. The processor is a little different. Now, I've been in Scorpion Kings in the past and stuff, and uh, I got to I gotta get used to the tractor. It's not going to be as fast as, like, a huge log processor, but the thing about this tractor is literally to use, like, every piece and to to be just super versatile. So he said take out any tree that is that is within 15 feet of the bank of the creek. I'm going to probably, there's literally some in the creek. Like, okay, not in the creek, but like really close to the side. All right, so we had a bit of a problem. The log processor didn't, it didn't cut. It, like these these logs are too big and it's just not the right wood type. So we're going to we're gonna do chainsaws, which like isn't that hard. And then we'll just run the grappler. And then Garrett's on the back, or er, on the back of bush hog. So... We're going to run through. We already got two trees out of the creek. One actually was already like, like it wasn't going down the creek, but like say it flooded or rained really hard, it could get picked up. There we go. I think we have like one or two more trees after that one, and we should be good for this job. But what we were doing is, yeah, we're just going to use the grapple, pull it out, and then trim it up. He'll do just probably, he'll probably burn them. But it should be good. You see Garrett, he's working up there. That's so cool. And then we'll run the grappler. And then the job after this is is going to be in town. We're going to be working some higher trees and using the, the 2200 cable tractor that has the bucket lift on there. So we'll be able to get us somebody up there with a chainsaw, just topping off trees, branches, working our way down. All right, guys, through the grapple on the back here. Still trying to figure out, like, exactly how everything works. Obviously, like, if I played with this a bunch, I'd be a beast. And uh, it, it would be a lot of fun, but we're just trying to figure it out here. I couldn't get the grapple to... There we go. We got it to close, but I couldn't get it to turn. So I have to kind of... There we go. We'll move this down. I missed it the first time. We'll see if we can get it this time. There we go. Close up on her. There we go. We got it, but it keeps slipping. Don't slip. I want to drive it all over here, and then we can chop it up in little pieces. But we might not be able to. It seems like the grapple just isn't strong enough to run it. And a lot of like mechanics and farm sim are really hard to run these kind of things. Um, when it comes to that, like the bucket's easier than using like a grapple on logs and stuff. It, it, and it takes a lot of skill and practice too. And these trees aren't perfect because they're like very natural trees. They aren't like, uh, the typical trees you see in farms and where they're just like perfectly straight and, uh, just your typical tree, I guess. You know what? I should be doing first person view in the vaco because that is, that is like the favorite, my favorite view. Um, and we'll try and get this going here. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. We got her scooped up. See, it just doesn't like to close, and then when it closes, it like spams out and stuff. But we'll, we'll get this place cleaned up and stuff with chainsaws. Kind of bummer. Garrett's absolutely tearing it up with the mower, which makes is making a huge difference here because literally impossible to mow side hills and like along creek, creek beds. So he's doing an awesome job, and we'll clean up and out here and on to our next job. All right, I'm going to get this guy loaded up. We got a big burn pile made with all the trees and cut them up. So the farmer's going to burn it. He doesn't want us to burn it on his land and stuff, and he wants to do it on a calmer day. It's a bit windy and a bit dry out. So after a good rain and maybe a uh after like a calm day would be a lot better time to burn there we go we'll get this on here it looks good drop her down so the next job is going to be strictly for the 2200 we're going to use the cable bucket get high up in the air and uh it's been fun demoing them so far i really like the mower the processor didn't work the best so the trees we should have went after were trees like this um and, and it would have supported i should i could still do one but we got to get on our way to the next job but all in the creek bed where the, the trunk of it was just too big for the processor it's not a huge scorpion king or anything but we'll get on to our next job and i'll see you guys there it'll be a fun one all right boys good jobs there garrett you probably carried the team with your with your bush hog work so that was good honestly you were doing pretty good i was looking over and i was, I was impressed by your skills <laughs> i didn't get too much done the grapple didn't really, really work too well and the processor was too small for the trees but these guys Ran the chain tells pretty good, but um, the next job we're gonna just be using one of the tractors, the cable 2200, and we're gonna put somebody doesn't it depends who wants to go up there. But somebody's going really high up on a tree that needs uh, that it's starting to die from the top down, so we need to we're probably gonna take the whole thing down. We'll see what it is, but we gotta take it chunk by chunk. Mm -hmm. Well, I get a raise if I go up there. Somebody's yeah, yeah, yeah you're gonna get a raise if you go All up right. there. Ooh. All right, I'll go up. But well, maybe we can negotiate the okay. yeah, Gary. Okay, here, how about this? Once we get there, I, I I think we need to place place some deals or put something in place sure. to actually decide. 
sure. fairly yeah. easily. I'll, I'll show you guys the tree so you so you uh, can understand what you're going to be doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to go up a tree if it's like if it's super super tall. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, put a harness on, you'll be good. Yeah, you'll be harnessed to to the bucket and everything. It's going to be pretty stable. We'll have. We'll have the stabilizers on the backhoe on. So it's not like the backhoe is going anywhere, but um, it might get a little rocky if it's windy. It's kind of a windy day, so yep. we'll see. I, that's what I thought with these. Is like, it's a very small base. Even with the stabilizers, yep. I still, I don't know, when you're going up that high, like the arm can extend quite a bit. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. It's, yeah, 60 feet is quite a bit. All right, boys, let's kick them tires and light them fires. Garrett, get out. Come on, man. Quit texting that girl back there. Stay I focused. gotta do what I gotta do. Put in the GPS. Yeah, you're We're married, man. Bolt. What are you doing? All right, before we get there, rumor rumor is it's a 100-foot tree. A 100-foot tree. Do we got any takers? Okay, can't even reach it. Wait, yeah, I was going to say, can't we only go up 60 well, feet? Well, you got to or... take that first 40 off. Oh, the first branch God. coming down is a 40-footer. Hopefully it doesn't oh. fall on us. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have cables. We're going to have everything set up ropes, so it should we should be safe. But it's going to be a tight. It's the high school or, or something like that. Bolt, oh, was, yeah. Bolt was organizing these jobs this morning. But this it, is going to be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty crazy. And I, it, I've, I've reached reason to, to suspect that it's going to be quite a bit more dead than they were leading on to so we like i said we might have to take out the whole entire thing. okay we'll see once we are there <laughs> oh i see it right there Ooh. where i don't oh, see it that's dead. Right, to, right there bolts looking at it. yeah that's that a is a uh that's a fall hazard that definitely is are we out of the fall zone with our pickup trucks yeah so we have to take out two trees that one right there and this then one right here okay and then the one over here okay yeah, these get are this ramps down. I'm gonna get going. If the whole thing went, guys, I think I think we're too close. You think so? But I, obviously, if we're, we're just not dropping the, the whole thing at once, yeah, we aren't. We aren't. Pieces. But I'm just. But it's better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> I, I, well, yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right, boys. Being the boss, I think I gotta do the first one, just to. Uh, I don't want any of my workers dying on the job or anything. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yes. Here, Captain Ian. Yeah, I'll relieve I'm you of your duties. Support's lower. You got it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna move it a bit closer. You guys stay on comms. Help me out. I can't see a lot of what I'm doing. So if you want to line me up a bit. Uh, All right. Get my project actually, and just try from distance because I'm not really trying to have this tree fall on me. Yeah, I'm gonna try and have it fall towards the slope or towards yeah towards the slope away from the school and then okay, go ahead. Watch out. You do that because it's gonna roll. It's gonna roll back. Yeah. Down. Yeah. You I'm might want to move far down. away so the branch. If it falls, it doesn't fall on top. I of know, you. but I gotta get close to get those extra feet so that we aren't bringing down a 50, 60 foot uh, top in a tree at 50 feet or something yeah. crazy like that. Okay, here my thought is just get as close as you can, but still leave some room just in case something unpredictable happens. <laughs> okay. Yep. Cool. I need it. I still need to figure out these buckets for these supports to drop these. There we go. There Got you them. go. Yeah. And I'm thinking concrete. I would love to be on soft, good dirt, but I think we're going to have to use concrete. I'll literally use everything. Should I use the bucket, too? Yeah, Honestly, why not? Go for it's, it. it's got strength. It'll be good. All right, drop the bucket down. Better just to be extra safe here, honestly. Especially when you're going up that high on new equipment. Like, <laughs> Are all tires off the ground? Uh, They're not off the ground, but they're, they're uh, heavily supported. Yeah, you're going to be stable. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and unfold the cable here. I'll okay. go grab the chainsaw for you. Okay. Where you get up there. Look at that. All right, boys. Any last words you want to? Uh, good luck. And try not to drop a tree on your vehicle. Here, before you go up, take the chainsaw. Yep, I better take that. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. All right, I I'm backing up now. This is all on you, Spence. Talk to me if you see a big wind gust. I guess you can't really see wind, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, if, I, I'm not too good at seeing that. If it starts leaning at the bottom, let me know. You don't see uh, the, the power truck out of the way. No, so I, I, this is probably not the day to do it. What? What's the mile per hour wind? I have no I idea what uh, trees are. 20 miles per hour. 20 miles. God dang. All right, Spence, you ready to go up? Yeah, I'm t trying to. I'm playing around with. This probably isn't good that we're doing this on a demo, but you got to make money, man. Yeah. There we go. There go. School system, too. They pay well, so. Yes, sir. All right. Well, uh, good luck up there. Thank you. The weather's already getting a bit cooler up here. I is bet. Just that distance, wow. Yeah, man, it's cold. I guess it is a bit of a chilly day. There we go, she's maxed out. What does it look like from down there, guys? I see a small person. Yeah, yeah, I see a very small person. I zoomed in a little bit with my binoculars to kind of see you, and you look pretty well positioned. I, I, I'd say you did a good job there. All right, I'm going to throw a pulley down. We're going to try and hopefully walk this down not too quick, and then... Guys, actually, it's this isn't a 100-foot tree. I mean, I know you couldn't measure it right, but I'm only looking at 25 feet 
coming off the top here. Oh, cool. yeah? Okay, well, honestly, that's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll lock it in 10, 10 foot sections as I go down. All righty. You guys got the pulleys? Yep. Got I the rope? Pull. Yep. I'll grab the one over here on this side. All right, here, here we go. She's coming down, starting the cut. Yep. Here All we right. go. I'm pulling the rope. Here we Betty go. She's coming. Yep. Timber. There we go. There we go. That was about nice. perfect. Perfect. That rope worked out pretty good. Yeah, that didn't was pretty clean. Equipment. Yeah, luckily it didn't roll or anything, too. That was really, really well done. Yeah. All right, I'm coming back down, boys. Nice and slow. There you go. There we go. That looks... That's about 10 feet right there. All right, got the next rope, guys? Yep. Check. Here we go. Hold on. Go. Maybe two guys for this one. It's going to get a bit heavier, even though it's uh, it's getting quite a bit thicker. Okay. There we go. I'm pulling. She's coming. And push her. She's going. Oh, boy. Oh, right boy. towards you. She there we go. Nice. There we go. That was a lot thicker there. <laughs> yeah, they are. It looks like, the, yeah, the wood's not doing good. So these could split on me before I'm ready to, before I make my cut all the way through. So I don't know when yep. they're going to come down. They could come down right as I start The cutting. wind's picking up, so. Yeah, I'm at, I think I'm out of the danger zone from here. We're probably yep. good. I don't need any more ropes. Okay. Sounds good. Just stand back and watch the, uh, watch the gentleman do his work. Timber. There we go. That's a little one. I'll take a bigger section out here. Yeah, that one got a little close to the, tr to the vehicle, though. So just be careful. <laughs> Did it? To the tractor? Yeah, it, it started moving a bit. Like, because we don't have the ropes, right? So we can't really direct it. Yeah. I mean, this one should all be pretty easy. You. Yeah. There you go. And she's good. Push, push, push. Okay. There we are. All right. I'm going to jump down if somebody wants to. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it all the way back down. All right, guys. Is this pretty cool or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're nice. Dude. Welcome back to the gram, by the way. You were up there quite some time. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, this is awesome. It, it did it see? I felt pretty stable up there. Obviously, the wind was kind of throwing me around, but like, was the tra how was the tractor doing? Like, did it, it look it, like it was stable? Yeah, it really was not moving at all. Like, maybe when you were at the max height, it just like shifted a few millimeters. Maybe a weight and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but besides that, especially when you got lower, it seemed to be perfectly fine. Cool hey, beans. Garrett, you're doing another tree. Yeah, who's doing the next one? Oh. How, you were high up there, Spence. Yeah, that's pretty pretty dangerous. Another tree a little smaller. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks a little smaller. I, I, I will say this one looks a bit better because it's on a bit flatter ground. Like we aren't on that giant slope right beside it. So, yeah, I don't know. If if no one wants to go up, I'm willing to do it. Let's but. see it, Garrett. I want to see it, man. Yeah. All right. Let, let's get this thing repositioned then. <laughs> there you go. You're up. Yeah, so nice job, Garrett. But let's see what the stump grinder is all about. Here we go. Are those, are the bits sharpened? Well, how's it going, man? And not wanting to cut that. Yeah, I see it's kind of struggling. I wonder if it's too hard of wood or what the case is. Sorry. All right, guys, as we're cleaning up the stumps, we're going to wrap it up. We got to get these demos back to the place. I think we have like 45 minutes to get it back all loaded up, which is quite a bit to get them both loaded up on the trailers and back to the shop. But hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know by smash the like button. There we go. He's grinding the stump. Awesome. I think he was having trouble with it earlier. Super cool. But smash the like button on you guys way out the door. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you thought of these tractors. I loved getting up there and chopping those trees. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.